shit gets wild all right and once again i'm gonna have to say it for all of you guys okay all right you fucking virgins writing these goddamn shows it is out of pocket shut the fuck up everybody (laughs) almost died and it was all your fault you Welcome in, everybody. We are back. This is the Out of Pocket Anime Podcast. Your boy, Blackie Chan, right here. I got my brother, Comedy Hashira, to my yeah, right. I don't, know, I don't know if it's actually y'all's right, but my right, he's there. <laughs> um, I do go by Booty Bandit. I do eat ass. Not Shane, on a full stomach. Know. Not, Not on, on a full, full stomach. stomach. Never. Never eat Never, ass on ever. a full stomach. It could end badly. Um, but this episode, episode four, and we got Jobless Reincarnation Season 1. The entire show itself is out of pocket. That show is fucking wild. Wild. Um, um, our podcast is named Out of Pocket. And when you told me about this anime, and I'm mm-hmm. watching it, the only thing going on in my mind every five minutes was, this shit is out of pocket. Shit's fucking wild, man. And I know, like, especially when I'm telling you about a show or what's going on in a show, I do everything I can to not give you any kind of spoilers at all. Like, I'm always like, hey, watch it. Keep an eye on this. Or I'll be like, like this one, I was like, watch it. This shit is fucking wild. You'll see. Right. Because you hate the motherfucking friends who decide to tell you too much. Have you ever experienced that where you're like, Someone tells you to watch a show and they give up too much. Oh, you mean my fucking son? <laughs> <laughs> Your son? Oh, God forbid. Yeah, that what little asshole. There? That little asshole. So what he does is he watches YouTube. And when he watches YouTube, he'll, uh, he'll watch like ahead of the show because the mangas are already out. And right. he'll, be like, he'll be like, hey, dad, we'll be watching show. He'll be like, hey, dad, I have a theory. I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Your theories. Yeah. <laughs> and so he'll be like, What's your theory? <laughs> Here we go. I'm trying to give you guys an example of one that he did super early on that wouldn't spoil something in a in a show for a newer season you might not have watched. Um <laughs> Good luck. I can't think of one in particular, but I'll give you an example of what one would look like. Yeah. Because it would be completely completely out of the world. It would come out of nowhere. It would be this weird theory, right? So right. My Hero Academia, okay? So let's say you're watching My Hero Academia, and you know the sports festival, right? So if you're right. at the sports festival part of the part of the series, and you're watching them go, my son would be like, hey, Dad, I have a theory. And you'd be like, okay, what's your theory? And he'd be like, I think Bakugo and Midoriya are actually brothers. And you'd, and you'd be, be like, like huh? You'd be like, dude, we just watched them beat up robots. Right. Where, where, where's this coming? Like, what triggered where? this theory? Where's the hint? You'd be like, I don't know, man. I just, you know, have a feeling. I'm really good at this stuff. No, right. you're a really asshole. You're a really big asshole. <laughs> Especially if it comes true. God, it always and does. And sure enough, that's what it happens, It always right? does, dude. So it always does. So imagine someone saying that. It's out of pocket. You're like, where the fuck did that come from? And Mm -hmm. it comes true. And you're like, you little bitch, you better not ever tell me another theory in your life. Um, Yeah. So we we don't we don't do that to each other. Right. We try not to do that to you guys. And we don't do that to other people as well. Right. And the message received from my brother about jobless reincarnation was it is out of pocket. Shit is wild. Wild, wild, wild. I. We had episode one, and during episode one, my brother went on a rant mm-hmm. about anime and girls and how certain animes make shit wild, way too wild in terms of sexual shit. Yeah. And you went on that long ass list where you're like 10 year olds, fucking 13 year olds. I cited uh, cousins, fucking cousins. I cited jobless reincarnation in that rant. Because that's one that I was super disappointed in because it's a show you get super into. You're like, oh shit, this shit's kind of wild. There's a lot going on here. And it's not just fighting. Like, there's actual really strong storyline. And then you're like, oh wait, homegirl's masturbating outside the door. Like, 
Like, oh my like, god! The second episode, yeah. The second episode that happens at the beginning, wild. Shit gets wild. All right. And once again, I'm gonna have to say it for all of you guys. Okay. All right, you fucking virgins writing these goddamn shows. Okay. I don't know if you're a Let pedo. Know. I don't know if you're a pedo. Let them know. Okay. But when I see shit like this, tell them. I think you're like playing out some fantasies that you yeah. had. And you pervy bitch. Shit's getting fucking weird. Yeah. I need you to stop. stop you're ruining it. my good shows you're that I enjoy. It. You're ruining it. One more time for the people. You're ruining it. There we go. <laughs> All right. But- yeah, that shit is wild because you like you said, there's a pretty good plot there. The the idea of reincarnation. That yeah. alone was crazy to me. Well, because so- I was like, oh shit, that's what jobless reincarnation means. Like Right, and, and the whole thing, right, so he's like this 35-year-old dude, they started off, the first scene of you see is him as a 35-year-old dude, is him, like, masturbating at his house by himself. Fucking wild. weird. Out fucking of weird. Out not of wild, pocket. not out of pocket, <laughs> fucking weird. <laughs> out of fucking pocket. weird. I don't, I know what it like looks like. Like and subscribe, out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what it looks like, it's fucking weird. Okay. Uh, it doesn't need to be in there. We all, everybody watching it knows what that looks like. All right, yeah. we get an idea. I don't need to feel bad about myself because I'm watching an anime. Crazy. Crazy. I definitely second guessed myself multiple times throughout that where I'm like, dude, should I continue watching this or should I tell dude, him this is too much? It's, it's, it, 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 they, they fucking, so we're, we're on one side of the line. It's wild. They're, they're fucking straddling that line playing a game of what if. Yeah. And like, yeah. so you get this 35 year old dude who gets reincarnated. Right into this fucking baby, okay. Mm-hmm. They don't even like talk about why he deserves it. Nope. They go right into mama's titties. Um, Zenith, amen to Zenith. Shout out to Zenith. We love you. Um, they show Zenith's titties and him as a baby, going, "Oh my god, I think I'm a baby and I want to suck on my mama's titties." Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the beginning of what you understand about his reincarnation. Yeah, so first, it's not. Oh, like this dude was seconds. a hero in a different life, so he's granted. Yeah, not <laughs> not even the ability to try again. Yeah, not even that he was killed by accident. Like, oops, I'm God, and I <laughs> fucked that up. Like, my bad. Let me get you oh, taken shit. care of, player. Damn. <laughs> you know, because you got the man God who pops in there from time to time. Never yeah. once was he like, "Hey, man, I fucked up with you in the other world." I'm trying yeah, to make things right. The other world. He just. That those conversations are hella weird too. Dude, dude's an oddball. Yeah, he's he's an oddball. Um, I don't Just I don't know what to quite make of him. They're, they're like two weirdos going back and forth, in my opinion. Like, there's one guy who like acts like a noble man, who's the main character, but mm-hmm. he's also pervy. And then you got the man god, who's like, he's like goofy. Yeah, just some fucking weirdo. Just some goofy weirdo. All white weirdo. Right. It's going going fucking weird. Yeah, they found the perfect uh voice actor for that though, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. For that personality? A hundred percent. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, oh, this dude's a fucking weirdo. All right, cool. That's what we're gonna ride yeah, with. Okay, I exactly see it. Weird. I see it. I believe it. Um, but yeah, so that that was another interesting dynamic that they didn't really mm-hmm. fully explain. Um not at all. You get you're getting that a lot in, in newer newer styled animes. Um, compared to old school, where it's a little bit more straightforward. Nowadays, it's more like they leave a lot of holes, especially if you don't read the mangas. All right, which we don't, because we're not fucking nerds. We're not fucking nerds, man. I can't read. <laughs> I say I this over read, and bitch. over again. I cannot read. We illiterate motherfuckers. Yeah, if I can't watch it, I ain't got time for it. Right. And I'm gonna go ahead and say something controversial over here, so everybody put your big boy pants on. I'll go dubbed over subbed all day. Oh, no. I will go dubbed over subbed all day. Okay? I understand you fucking nerds got all this time on your hands where you can sit there and you can stare at your fucking phone all day and read that shit, but I got shit I need to do. All right? I need to be (laughs) able to, like, do shit and peek at shit. All right? (laughs) Dub over sub all day. All right? There's no way I'm watching a thousand fucking episodes of One Piece subbed. Not a chance. Who has that kind of time? I can tell you who. People who don't have jobs. 
They're right. People who have zero responsibility. <laughs> you all right? No, man. You good? <laughs> it's upsetting. No, no it's because no, I want to watch right. it. I want to watch these shows. <laughs> I want to spend all day. Yeah. <laughs> Preferably. Um. So, <laughs> Rudy, reincarnated, comes out, says he wants to suck on Mama's titties. Mama, Mama. Um, and then soon after that, um, yeah, he finds out he's got magic, right? And they, like he finds out about the world, right? Yeah, yeah, he magic, finds out there's magic, there's, there's magic in the world, demons, and then uh, all that and then shit. home girl, home girl comes to train him because they realize he's a fucking prodigy, right? Because why because not? He's a grown why man. not? Why not? You're a 35 <laughs> year old man. At this point, he was what, like five years old, so he's 40. Yeah. So you got a 40 year old man in a five year old body, and he's a prodigy. Right. Wouldn't that be fucking wild if you got reincarnated? No, thanks. You don't want it? Hard pass. Like, your same knowledge, but in a in a smaller body? No, I think it's fucking weird, because you, then you run into his problems. Like, so if you're... A, <laughs> if, if then you're, you run into his problems, like sucking on his mama's titties. Yeah, if, <laughs> if, you're, if you're a four-year-old man in a five-year-old body, you're hitting on other five-year-olds at the playground. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's not okay. <laughs> Like, you're a pedo, for sure. Oh, shit. 100% you're a pedo. Like, that's not okay. And so I would just be living <laughs> life alone. You're, but you're five years old. Your body's five years old, but you're 40. <laughs> like, I ain't, I ain't cool with that. <laughs> Are you cool with that? No, I'm not saying I'm cool with it. I'm just saying I oh, would no, be there's hitting a little, on... There's a I little extra be, to that laugh in there. I wouldn't be hitting on girls that are five. If so, I was five. So you'd be a five-year-old hoping there's a pedo out there looking for you? No. I'd be a five-year-old growing up <laughs> like a normal human being. <laughs> and then when, <laughs> when I hit 18. All right, you know what? I'm going to cut you off right there. There's I'm nothing normal everybody. about this situation. <laughs> I'm going to be a normal human being. You're 40. No, I'm saying <laughs> I'm going to be normal. I'm going to be a normal 12-year-old. I'm going to be a normal 13-year-old. Okay. All right, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. It'd, fucking, it'd be <laughs> fucking weird to me. That's because you nasty. I'm not. I don't. Separate. I don't have Roxy's draws <laughs> in a box. In right? a box. Oh, in a box. <laughs> in a box. In a box. In a box. <laughs> the only way out is in a in box. A box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in a box. Right. But. So you thought you thought Roxy was into him, right? No, I thought um, he was into her. I just thought that they were closer in age relative to how long their lifespans are. My argument was she was under age, but you were like, oh, no, she's over age because she's 100 years old. But I'm like, she's a demon. So demons grow at a slower rate. But live longer. Right. But I mean. You could say that as far as like body development wise, but she's still a hundred years. But her brain development, she's a hundred years old. Not necessarily. Yeah, she's a hundred. No, because she's, it depends. So you how think long she's was fucking, she a baby for? You think she's Grogu up in here? You think how, she's fucking how, Yoda? How long you think she was a baby for? You think she was a baby for a year? Like yeah, an infant? I do. I do. No, I think she was an infant for like five to ten years. I don't because of her so. lifespan. You can see it. <laughs> You can it's, see the difference. You know, it's possible. It, That's what I see. It's possible that they just live long. Did you it's ever like think of Yoda. that? It's like Yoda. It's like Yoda. He said that. I think he said that. Yoda's species. Yeah, but Yoda's species, they've already acknowledged that, like, they don't mature until 50. But baby Yoda was how old? Um, Grogu. How fucking dare you? <laughs> <laughs> All right? You use his goddamn name. Okay, Grogu. Yeah. Grogu. How old is he? Huh? He's how under is he? 50. He's under 50. <laughs> he's but, under 50. But that's my point, is that they... But he's a baby! Yeah, that's but they actually point. acknowledge, they set up in their framework that that's how time works. Uh, 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 do they Do they not? Do they not? No, uh-uh. Yeah, they no. haven't set up the framework for how the time works yet. Uh-uh. No, that makes So sense. I can think that. That is a perfect analogy. It's not a perfect drew. analogy. That is a perfect analogy. That's an analogy that fits your narrative. <laughs> of course it does. 
Okay. Because it's so, a good analogy. So I got one for you. Okay. <laughs> Dumbledore. Oh, yeah. Dumbledore is 150 years old. So if Dumbledore is 150 years old, do you think that he was a baby for 30 years? He could have been. But he wasn't. <laughs> because you see universe. everybody in that world. So, okay, Star Wars is the same universe? No, each universe has a difference in how okay. their age process I would works. argue. So I would argue my universe with mages is closer to Dumbledore's than it is to Star Wars. So and Jabba's reincarnation is closer. Mages have nothing to do <laughs> with it's a magic world. The- <laughs> with the fact of person of a lifespan okay. living a certain amount of time. Okay. All right. Mages have nothing to do with lifespan. Okay. So so you think Dumbledore having magic had nothing to do with his lifespan? No. That's what you're Yoda? telling me right now. What did Yoda have? What but he's not, a fucking, he's okay, not a fucking well, mage. He's not a fucking mage. That's my point. But I'm it's saying not only ma- mages have lifespans like that's that. That's not what you were saying. You were that saying. That is what I'm saying. You were literally saying that mages have nothing to do with it. Mages don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. It's the magic because of Yoda. It's the magic. <laughs> Yoda doesn't have magic. He's. It's a different universe. Yeah, but it's closer. So is oh so is yours. <laughs> so is yours. So is Whatever. yours. Whatever, dude. Whatever. That's the dumbest thing ever. What? Oh, right. Each week, right. each week I get out here and I'm like, right. he can't say anything stupider. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's so dumb of me to suggest that she was a kid for a long period of time. She's not. She's oh, not green. My. What? <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> um, what do you think of uh, Ru- Ruiger when you when he was introduced as a character? Uh, Rudy or Ruiger? The fucking Ru- Ruiger. Okay. The superb. Okay, yeah, he was a dude. He's a dude, all right. Is he on par with the the Gojo entry, the the Levi entry, the would you say his entry was on par with their entries in terms of combat? Um no. No. Who, would you say it's just far be- below? I would say it's far below. Um okay. I, and I would I would say it's upsettingly below because mm-hmm. you realize what a thug he is. And don't get me wrong, like he he still came in with that power. Um, but if you look at like the way people talked about Gojo, even though Gojo didn't necessarily come in with power, but he's like, oh, let's Akuna out, let me fuck with him a little bit. Um, and then everybody talked about how powerful he is. And when you get into uh Ruiger, like he showed a little bit of power, but when you realize actually how powerful he is, you're like, that was nothing. For him, by like him coming in and helping them out, that was that was nothing for him. Like, this dude is such a thug, like, right? I, I mean, but it, you also have to credit the name, like the superb name. Everybody's fucking feared. E- everybody's fearful of him. Yeah, but that, I His mean, reputation so, exceeds them. So, yeah, and so their reputation was being the strongest. Um, but I would say that fear is less from the strength and more from what happened to them and to their race. When they were siding with the dark dude. Yeah. When the curse was. Yeah. And so I would say the reputation is based more on that. Than their power. Right. But. Okay. But I mean, like he fucked with Roxy's parents. Or Roxy's parents fucked with him, I guess is better to say, because he was trying to fuck with everybody. Right. He was trying to clear his name. Yeah. But he was was still a thug. Yeah. He was still a thug, though. I Yeah. I would definitely put him below those, those entries. Uh, just because of magnitude of the entry, yeah. Um, but, there was life or death aspect in the other ones compared to him, but he's still yeah. a thug. Yeah, but he was probably a baby until he was about seventy-five. You know, those life spans. How long does he live? Yeah, who I'm telling depends. you, man. Well, I mean, exactly. she's so. I mean, it, and I will give you that it is tricky because they have so many different. Like, they have the demon universe, and then they have the human realm, and then I think they have the beast realm too. I wanted to say. Um, I might be making that up, but well, they you have, watched it more recently than I did. Right. Like they have realms, but they have realms that are specific to what was created. Right. So like right. the human realm where he came from, which was our land, um, just the average humans. And then there was the like human demon beast um, mage. 
styled realm, which is what he was reincarnated into. Right. And I think they mentioned a couple more, but I forgot yeah. exactly what they had said. Uh, it's a but, it's a cool concept. Yeah, it's um, really and, cool. And honestly, what hold on, what reminded me of the realm he got put in was RuneScape. I don't know if you I ever never got down that. on that. I know you as a I kid growing that. up, you you went in on it pretty hard. Really um, hard. I never I never never got down on it. I tried it one time and then right. some chick hopped on was like was like, "Hey, do you want me to show you my tits?" and I was like, "Well, <laughs> no, thank you." And she was like, "Okay, cool. Please don't report me." And I was like, "Yeah, I guess I'm done with this game." All right. Gay. Um anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway, um yeah, RuneScape. That I played that off a lot and the first it was funny because when I was 12 around um that time is when I played. Yeah, you were you were on that night. I was on it. Yeah. Yeah, I was fucking on it. I got up to level I want to say like 80 something. And wow. for those well, that have played it. Deal. Right. For those who have played it, they know that's a it's a solid amount. But um I wanted to be a mage. And that was the idea where you could pick mage, you could pick swordsman, um, you could pick archer, which uh-huh. we don't actually see that in this. Um, and then you can't pick like demon. But that was like the idea where you you have roles. It's like a role playing anime, which was cool. Right. Um, so so you you picked swordsman and you were Paul banging the maid. No, I should have. Having seen <laughs> Paul bang his maid and his wife and still managed to keep both. Um, can we give a shout out to that? Can we can we give a round of a fucking applause? I guess, man. If you can, can we give a round of applause to that? If you can get away with it, Paul. Jesus, dude. And Did then that the, man not accomplish the fucking impossible? Dude, and then she seduced him. She was on Are there you? like she was on there like yo. I feel terrible because like I heard him and his wife fucking like wow band for years for years, and I finally had enough. So I was like, hey, yeah. Nigga, Come on in here, grease this cake for me, run those wheels, plant these seeds, mm-hmm. you know, hide that carrot. Right. <laughs> like, oh, man. God, yeah, and they're both like, bad. They're both they are. bad. They are. But everybody, Holy. there's like, throughout the show, you run through all these women that Paul was fucking with. And you're like, yeah. Okay, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Like, okay, there was Paul. one girl who, when Rudy found him again, towards the middle of the. Yeah, the plot when they ran in, found him. him again, and he had two other girls with him. One was that older girl with the bra, and yeah. the um, I didn't, I didn't know her name. I didn't know Mm-mm. she didn't really do much in the show, to be honest. But she's still, <laughs> she's still following that motherfucker around. I yeah. wonder why. Paul was a thug. Yeah, man, he was he was all about that life, dog. <laughs> and he was training he him as it. he was growing. <laughs> yeah, he was like he was like, hey, what do you think a girl wants? Like, uh, yeah. you need to be a one woman man, but. <laughs> With that being yeah. said, your little girl Sophie, what's the deal? What's up? Right. You tapped him that yet? And he's yeah. like, dog, I am seven. Right. He's like, why are you telling a yeah. seven year old to hit on Sylvie? But but that whole family's wild because remember they send him so they send him to the cousin's house. Right. Or his uncle. Right. His uncle. And his uncle is what, a fucking governor? I guess that's Royalty. What, yeah, like but he it's like royalty. governs that that land. And right. shit like that. And he has a daughter. He's like, yeah, train my fucking daughter. And then, you know, they start working together. All that shit goes good. And then he has that one night where he calls him in. And he's like, yo, just saying, um, you're powerful. How about you? Uh, how about you marry my daughter? And he's like, yeah, motherfucker, you are wild. I don't think that's a good idea. And he's like, I will bring her to your room tied up. That's your fucking daughter, man. Out of pocket. That's your Out fucking daughter. Out of pocket. It was like, that was like his, his first suggestion, too. It wasn't like, hey, man. Like, oh, you know, he was, he was like, he was like, hey, I, I could bring you my daughter. And he's like, I don't think that's a good idea. But his first escalation was, I'll bring her to you tied up, homie. Right. It wasn't I was like, we can't, to you. we can't start like, you know what? I'll arrange something for you. He's like, no. And he's like, okay, how about I just. She just is in your room waiting for you. And then, like, how about she's tied up? Like, no, yeah. it was straight to 
how about she comes in all tied up? Yeah. Like, how about that? Yeah. You remember that scene from uh, The Black Knight with Martin Lawrence? Uh, where your daughter's a free yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah she well that's the whore elina, elina lisa whatever her name is um what was her name her daughter in uh that martin elena movie was elena lise um that <laughs> was her i would yeah. say <laughs> i don't i don't think comparison. anybody was her that shit was fucking wild <laughs> um but but, <laughs> but, but but we haven't even get, we're not even getting there yet. We're not even getting there yet. Right. But the fucking so like he was like, no, I don't want it this way. And they're like, well, what if we just like agree to marry you to her? And yeah. she was like, he was like, no, I don't, I don't want that either. And then they mm-hmm. end up making an arrangement to like fuck when they're fifteen, right? Or when Rudy's fifteen because she's a couple years older, right? Right. I was gonna say it was when Rudy was fifteen, and that's a key plot point. Because they don't even fucking wait until he's fifteen. No, they're like, yeah. How about how about you marry my daughter? He's like, nah. Then it gets with her. He's like, yo. How about she was like, how about we wait until I'm older and I just break you off a little piece of this Kit Kat bar? Right. And he was like, all right, say less. And then, <laughs> right. About that action. Like without hesitation, he's like, oh, yeah. all right, yeah, I'm in. yeah. You I got I'm... her, and then he was still thinking about Roxy. Yep, and then so fat. Yeah. Like he he got a stable of whores. That's called a stable of whores. That's what they call yeah. that's what they call a pimp, Terry. Yeah. Put it in yeah, reverse, he, Terry. He, Put it in Paul's reverse. Son. <laughs> he's Paul's son for sure. <laughs> yeah, he out there fucking. <laughs> uh, little do we know Zenith is fucking Paul's sister. <laughs> fucking shit, dude. That's like, it. Jesus it just feels like Christ. they're shoving just, cousin the, dicks in your ear. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man. It's just the whole like, the stop. whole concept is like it's like they're like, yo, like this creator, I can just imagine that pitch meeting, right? Uh-huh. Like he's like, All right, man, I got this little kid, okay? He wants to fuck his mom. But he can't, right? <laughs> because so, he's reincarnated as a thirty five year old person. Yeah, so, so, so he wants to fuck his mom. He can't he can't she can't, right? Because obviously that's his mom. So right. what we'll do is We'll bring in this teacher, then he's gonna want to fuck her, which he can, but he's still too young. So we gotta find someone his own age. So we bring in this little elf bitch. He's gonna want to fuck her, but but he's still too young. So we'll send him away and have him fuck his cousin. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, well, what's the show gonna be about? Thought I just told you, man. He's gonna yeah, fuck his cousin. Right. I mean, there may be a man god and a demon god and a. Sure. Uh, you know, a few deaths and a few. Yeah, fights. I mean, we but can. For the most part, it's, yeah. He's like, it's, all right, all it's right. Him fucking his cousin. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's let's try this over again. Okay, what if all that happens before, but they like get lost together and travel the world and fuck shit up in the meantime? Are we good here? Yeah. Were you thinking like you know like like with swords or were you thinking? He goes, I don't know, man. I gave you the main storyline. You shot it down. Let me just go and make up a whole bunch of shit. We'll have a guy with a spear too, if that makes you feel better. Yeah. Like, like, what do you? How do you come out of that? Pe- right. How do you come out of and that if, pitch meeting? And if you weren't already pissed off at that pitch, let's throw in Joffrey. <laughs> oh, let's the fucking. In, let's throw in Joffrey, the fucking, fucking little bitch boy that you wanted to fucking just. Mm, the uh, just the one that Roxy mm, was mm, teaching. Mm, That's the mm, prince that Roxy was teaching. Yeah. After she he, left the gray rats, and then the sh- the big apocalypse shit happens. The the beam of light happens. Then he meets up with him yeah. again, and he's he's fucking holding motherfuckers hostage to sex slaves and just being a little Joffrey. Now spoiled little brat. And in his defense, that was Lily of the maid. So, I mean, I wouldn't I, not I want her to be, I but I wouldn't I also force her to be. Well, I mean, obviously, you can't force her to. <laughs> Right. But if they were like, hey, you gotta have a sex slave. If you had to pick. I, I mean, y- you know, there could be worse out there. Right, right. Um, Thank you for sharing. I appreciate I'm just, that. I'm just throwing it out <laughs> thank, there. Thank you for throwing that out there. All right, I just want thank people you. to know. Like if yep, we needed to know. If you had to have one, like if you were forcing a sex slave on me, and I was like, no. Yeah. Like a hundred like, times, no, they were like... <laughs> And they're like, hey, you're no, the you king. have to take this. This is like in the laws that you have to take this. I mean, 
Could be worse. Could be worse. And then, Could be worse. But yeah, so you get you get Joffrey. That dude's just freaking out of pocket, and he's just the whole time he's just wiling out. Yep, like a baby throwing a tantrum. Finally gets. Like, go ahead. I was gonna say his fucking brother, his oh. older brother comes in, and he's and, like, "Hey, uh, he's like, hey, nice head. Do you want to keep it?" <laughs> right. Which, which prior to him getting in that situation where he actually captured Rudy, I was like, "Bruh, you gotta know this shit is rigged." Like when he was following, oh yeah, fucking, oh yeah. It's like, come on, bro. Like that was ridiculous. That's the only ridiculous, like naive shit I've ever seen. If he's gonna be a thirty year old. In that in that little boy's body, you gotta know that shit was fishy. He sees the guys who had his little sister. Like there was so much shit where he should have known and been the fuck out of there. So I was a little bit upset about that. But the brother coming in was big for me because I was like, I want to beat the shit out of this little boy. Yeah, and uh, it was a weird it was a weird savior because the brother was uh... was rough. A weird motherfucker too. <laughs> yeah, like he was weird in a in a different way. <laughs> yeah, and somehow he was born with a special ability, and a special ability was to tear people's heads off. Yeah, that was wild. I thought he was actually gonna like rip some shit. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I was like, oh yeah, he's taking my fucking heads. Started to like pull, and I was yep. like, oh shit, is he actually gonna rip his little brother's head off? Yeah, I was sitting there watching <laughs> it with my fucking yeah, fat ass I'm neck there like this. Yeah, I was like, like yo, I don't, chill out. Yeah, I was like, I don't think I'd make it that long. Chill, my next chill out. Shorter, dog. Yeah, I, I haven't stretched. I was like, hey, I man. Stretch. I was in there crying for him. I was like, let him go. Just let the kid go. Keep your right. head. Right. Like, um, he's I agree. wild. But, he was. But, like, I just, you know, like, the, the, the cousin fucking is a little much for me. Yeah. I, I can't definitely. get behind that. And then, right. and then, of course, they wait till the very end to let that happen. And then Homeboy goes into, like, this weird fucking depression to end the show. Right. Goes into the weird depression. Um, and he didn't fall into depression when Dad was fucking the maid and had a no. kid at the same time as his mom. Or when Dad treated him like shit. When Dad treated him like shit. He goes him. into depression <laughs> after he fucks for the first time in his life. Both lives. Yeah, the lightest he has Not ever felt on his feet. Right. Fucking walking around going. Mm hmm. Popping yeah. out of the tent. There it is. <laughs> That's how it was when he was walking out after fucking. And he goes into depression because she decides to leave after she was told she needed to, to sleep with another dude from another uh, yeah, but kingdom. She, right, but she, was only gonna, she wasn't even going to go sleep with him to be like a princess. She's going to go be a nope. concubine. Yeah, so she was like, fuck that, I'm leaving and doing my own thing. And instead of him being like, I get it, she left because she was just told she had to be a concubine. Literally, verbatim, she was told that. Yeah. And he goes, oh, she left me and she said, I'm like, bro, you just fucked. And and even though that's fucked up, (laughs) I'm not going to bypass that, even though that's fucking fucked up and awkward and weird. And I think she actually low key raped him because he was like, "No." Yeah, and then she I did that weird great. shit. She was like, "She was like, my mom told me to say this shit. I want to yeah. be your little kitty." Like, what the fuck? That worked? right? That's what did yeah. it for you, dude. And, yeah. Um, I you was fuck like, a cat. Right, and I was like, yeah. Even though that low key happened, I'll let uh, you know. It is what it is. But he he was still depressed, yep. and that was like, dude, fuck you. I'm tired of this bullshit, man. Even when he was like, when Super Dude, um, Ruger, yeah, Ruger, Ruger, when he sliced that motherfucker's head off in the beginning, Ooh, and he's like, "Don't it. kill," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, kill his ass." Oh, I was right <laughs> there. Know? I was like, "Yo, this dude's like, trying to fuck your to, baby." I was about to dap him up. Yeah. And give me, he's over give me there. three. Give me three. <laughs> Right. He's over there fucking crying. Don't kill. Killing's wrong. Fucking pussy. And the funny part is, eventually, he, he's like, I gotta kill these motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm yep. gonna let you, you, like, turn away. I'm gonna kill these motherfuckers. I know yep. you don't like it, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And that shit was, shit was fucking but, fire. 
Yeah, so what would you compare the graphics of the show to? Oh, um, there was a little bit of AOT in there, Attack on right. Titan. And then I would say there's a little bit of Jujutsu uh, Kaisen. I would okay. say those are the main two. And then with a hint of maybe My Hero. Yeah, well, I mean, it definitely follows that the new school anime trends. in there. I, yeah, obviously, like, I personally, Demon Slayer is going to be, you oh, know, that was, that's, that's, another that's, level. that's the top of the hill. Of in graphics. my in my eyes of graphics and it's it's not even close not even close and so everything else is just close. like you know we go 20 percent down the mountain and this is where we start and right. so but other than that where they spend so much money on animation there too i heard something like they spend eighty thousand dollars on animation each episode i don't know what that means who? for demon slayer holy each shit. episode they spend eighty thousand dollars in animation it's what i heard no, right. I don't know what that means. I don't know what what cost equals quantifies and, that. Yeah, in in animation, but I can uh-huh. tell you right now. I heard that watch an episode for some reason it just made sense to me. I was like, yeah, eighty thousand. That sounds about right. Yep, it really does. Yep. When you look at how fucking crisp mm-hmm. that shit looks, I mean, even just the characters, so good, so good. The animation. Let alone the actual fight scenes. Fight yeah. scenes are crazy. Yeah, and the frustrating thing about this show is that the fight scenes were actually pretty good. Uh-huh. The problem was is that there wasn't any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you had a, a lot of potential there that if I had to knock this show, there was so much more potential for, like, little mini fight scenes. that like they skirmishes. Could... Right. Just little, like, <coughs> out of the way. They would go from city to city with no issues. Yep. They would walk out into the desert and across come across nobody. Yep. And I'm like, you can't do that, in my opinion. You just cannot do that. If they just would have added fight scenes in between those periods of time, this show would reach another yeah. level. Wasted space. Wasted. Yeah, that's I 100% agree with that. There's so many scenes of them like traveling somewhere, walking somewhere, having deep conversations. And that's fine. Um, right. I don't. I don't mind that in my animes. Right. But you got twenty five episodes. Throw like, some fighting in there. Like when I so like you know uh, when <laughs> when uh when Roxy is teaching him that fucking crazy ass lightning spell, right for his test. Uh huh. I saw that shit and I was like, "Yo, this is gonna, gonna be, dope. be yeah." And, and he's then, gonna do some like Dumbledore shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then some Gandalf shit. Some like wa- yeah, some like w- like water shit like Dumbledore did. You know what I'm saying? Against Voldemort where he had Ooh, him in that water yeah. prison. That shit was dope. And he's like, yo, that, that shit like, would be uh, fucking uh, dope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> shit would, just get him with his staff. <laughs> shit, yep. That'd be dope. Yeah, and then and then you go to like Paul training him. And you're like, yo, Paul's a sleazeball, but yo, motherfucker is money with a the problem. Sword. He's a problem with the sword. I was like, I was like, oh my god, this dude's gonna be a monster when he's done training. Right. Like the fights he's gonna, in this are gonna you're be. You're gonna see dope. him. Yeah, you're gonna see him pop in from time to time. Yep, not not a chance. There was barely any fight scenes. <laughs> and yo, how sick was the uh, the light skin bitch, the Princess Hibana looking bitch? Um, which one? How how clean was she? Uh, Gal- Galani. G- uh, oh, uh, Galane. 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 Oh, like, How sick was seeing her finally fight? Like, ooh, you didn't see her fight. No, not and a lot. And then she finally fights, and you're like, holy oh, shit. shit. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's right. why the dad sent you to train her. Yeah. yeah and that's why Eris a, is nice, because that's her. She's a problem. Right. Um, right. And it was funny, too, because dad fucked her, too. Yeah, um, I don't right. know if you caught that. Oh, I in did. In the beginning, when he yeah. met her. Yeah, he was like, he, he was, she was, uh, she was like, yeah, there was only one time he was able to defeat me, and I was like, Jesus, <laughs> Paul well, you know fucked everybody. Hey, Paul, give me. <laughs> I kept wanting to dap up Paul, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, God damn, this motherfucker was That's running over here. through it. <laughs> the whole and he was like, dude, has he slept with everybody? <laughs> yep. The answer is yes. Uh, yes, he. Your has. dad Your definitely has. has HIV. But that's where we're trying every episode to to find some versus battles, and for this one it was tough because there were so few yeah. fights. 
and it's even, just so few fights. And even most of the fights were over pretty quick. Quick. Like, even when they, uh, uh towards the end there, were they, uh, oh, the Jesus. demon god? Oh, god. Ooh. That dude. <laughs> that dude's a problem. I was like, I don't, I don't want these problems, but <laughs> I would have loved to see them. Oh, man. It's like, do fuck everybody up in, like, a matter of, like, what? Probably 15 seconds? Yeah. Like, 15 seconds per person? Well, in a minute in terms of, like, he was talking for a little bit. <laughs> and I was, the whole time, I'm sitting there like, hey, yo, Rudy, shut up! Yep. Stop talking to that guy! <laughs> yep. yep, just let him walk, man. Ruiger was like, yo, don't move. Yep. Everybody keep walking. Don't mm-hmm. say a fucking word. And Ru- Rudy, hey! <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Where are you going? Shut the fuck up! Yeah, everybody almost died, and it was all your fault, you little piece of shit. You little and then when, piece of shit. When he jumped in to save him, oh, I shit. was like, oh shit, you better tell him, fuck you, Rudy. I told you to shut the fuck up. Oh, dude, I love that shit with their fucking pet. Oh, like man. That. It's and, like, I, I kind of hoped he died for that. How how clean was that, though, him jumping yeah, in? Yeah, when he got that? in. Yep. Yeah, because he was like, shut up. Shit was cold. You don't know what you're saying. Yep. And he jumps in. That, that graphic scene was fucked fire I yeah was like, oh this shit this, yeah. shit, this, just, this show just, can get good yeah it was just unfortunate that every time it got good it was like hey it was over quick yeah and hey look at me i want to go help this kidnapped kid but also that's a bad bitch and i'm gonna Animal. sniff her panties <laughs> what are we doing here man oh and by the way she's my second cousin yeah uh. she's my third cousin and guess what her daughter looking better than her <laughs> She's like, only what nine. Like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, it's like, fucking upsetting. Nine. It's like, oh my god, how far? How far are you going? But the the verses we ended up <laughs> settling on, which you know, I I don't think this verses is really do justice, just because we don't know right. the full abilities of anybody in this fucking anime. Right, we didn't see anybody um, fight enough. We didn't, but we thought Swordsmith. And uh, Galani and and Levi, Galani versus Levi, or is that what's her name again? Uh, Galane, Galane. Levi. I thought we settled on uh, Ruiger, Levi. Oh, Ruiger. My bad. My bad. Ruiger. Yeah. Not. Yeah, because yeah, we bad. only really saw Galane fight once. Really. Right, but we saw Ruiger fight multiple times. <laughs> And to be honest, it didn't matter who we picked because Levi's mopping them both up. Yeah, I um, I have no disagreement there. Levi is a is a fucking problem. Yeah, dude's got dude's got the fucking uh, uh Ackerman blood, the Ackerman thing. Yeah, where like when it the awakens, in ultra him, instinct kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, where it wakes up in him, and all of a sudden he's a fucking problem for sure. Right, and um, his equipment itself, his mobility. Um, to get high ground to do things like that, which Ruiger I don't think can. He can't really elevate. He's more of like a uh a front lines kind of like Yeah, like I'm right here with right you. Right here. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Um I think Levi has that advantage too. Well yeah, because I mean IQs Levi's... are both off the chart though. Yeah, yeah. Well that's just that's just battle experience, right? You learn more when you experience battles in the fucking uh Ruger was in a war. Right. And fucking Levi Grew up fucking in a war as well. Yeah, against the fucking Titans. Right. And, and we're talking about Titans. Up. We're talking about not only the basic level Titans. <laughs> we're talking about the fucking one of the twelve or however many there were. Right. 12. But however many of the the actual right like, human style Titans there were. Right. Um. And, and he was fucking everybody up. Yeah. There's there's just there's there's no way I can't imagine anybody. We ever bring up against Levi being able to take him down? I just, right. I just don't. Unless I don't you see had, it. yeah, unless you had superpowers, like, like, right. Unless you were like All Might, where it's like, okay, yeah, All Might could beat him because he's like a superhuman. Yeah, and and even then, I think Levi sliced the nigga up a little bit. He'll slice him up, but I mean, oh, he loses. Yeah, he loses yeah. for sure. Like, but Levi's a human. <laughs> He's still a human. He's just like a, a high. He's like a Captain America human. He's like a advanced like. Yeah, I think he smashed Captain America too for sure. 
No, of course. <laughs> of course he would, but I'm just saying, like, in terms of... Yeah, I got you. He's his, like a superhuman. Yeah, right. he's still a human, but he's just, like, on a different level. Superhuman. Yeah, yeah, but, like, when you look at just his ability to, to move in and out, his familiarity with his gear and the, the flesh swords that he has, mm-hmm. and then even being able to switch him out. Now, that's the only thing I would say would be a challenge, would be, like, the flesh swords going up against actual real steel. Right, like and, his and, Yeah, like going up against spear. the uh, spear. Like, right. how long would those would the flesh pairing swords hold up? Um, right. I don't think it would come to that, because I think Levi would no. smash him. Right. But, if I had to point out, like, one thing that's an unknown there, it's mm-hmm. that. Because it was very clearly, anytime they use those swords for anything else in AOT, they're like, oh, well, it was only supposed to be used for this. Right. And so that's the only thing I could see in there. It's like right, maybe. And, and if 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 Ruiger could have an area where they fought that wasn't open terrain, I think he would have a better chance if it was like closed off in a room, because Ruiger does have the the close like one on one like blow for blow combat advantage. Um, but if there's an if there's a terrain, if there's things, if there's areas, if there's spaces, Levi is too slick. Um, but if it was like a confined room, does that make sense? That's it does. The only way that I it think it does, Ruiger but I win. think, but I think Levi would have issues if there was like a field with no trees, nothing for him to use his right. OEM gear. Right. True. Either. Okay. So that yeah. So, so he's so grounded by open terrain. I mean, with trees like, and shit. With trees and, and and things where you can really move. Yeah. And so I think I think that could be a big issue. But but overall, yeah. I I I think I think Levi smashes, right? Ruger. Especially because he's a dual wielder too. Yep. I think him being a dual wielder and being that smooth with both blades, he's a like, problem. I just like he's blocking the. St- I could just see him blocking the fucking thing with one and just slight and then getting out and just yep. Really uh really putting a number on movement. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was the best we could come up with. But Sorry. again. <laughs> Again, you can argue against it just because we we really haven't seen much of Ruiger. Um, yeah, we haven't. Um, so you manga munchers out there, right? You guys might be known. like, yeah, who probably read more of it so know more. You guys might be like, oh, Ruiger will take a hands down. Well, until they make it into a TV show, I won't fucking agree with you. Right. Just right. saying. No, I a hundred percent. We don't watch mangas or watch. We don't read mangas. Okay, it's guys. Part of the problem. We can't even get our words right mangas. when we're talking. You think we're gonna fucking right. read? Maybe one day when we're doing this shit full time, we'll think about it. But for the most part, no, we're not gonna be reading mangas. Not a chance. We, we prefer just seeing shit, and and because we just have so much other shit to do. Like yeah. there's just too much to do to also read mangas or subtitles. Once right. again. Um, Eat but it. again, if I could do it full time, I'll learn Japanese. God oh, damn it. fucking all day! I would love to learn Japanese. You know, I'll ask some Japanese bitches. If we, <laughs> if we, if we get to the point Ooh. where we're doing this uh twenty four seven, and I have the time, I will I learn. Mean, fuck it over there, like Arigato, Mrs. Uh, Roboto. So What's nice. up, girl? Yo, Zenith. <laughs> yo, yo, man's cheated. What you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, uh, so who's who's your first baddie pick? My first baddie pick is a hundred and percent, hundred hundred and percent, hundred percent, Zenith, Rudy's mama. Um, I'm a big fan of mamas, as as you know. It's a weird thing episode... Sergio has. <laughs> and just so you guys know, our mom is very prominent in our lives, so it's a weird <laughs> mom complex. It's not like she whatever, was missing. dude. Whatever. Um, <laughs> she was hot, dude. I just like those mom styled characters. Um, Nezuko's mom, Rudy's mom. Yeah, you like them. We get it, man. You're about the mamas. I like their mamas. Um, Who was your first? Oh, dude, I ride hard for the maid, Lilia. Maid. Oh my god. Uh, Something, something about like I don't like the average like I don't like the average uh, you know blonde hair, blue eyes, brown eye like give me the red hair, short hair. Ooh, baddie. That's a that's a submissive baddie. I was like, but it's wild because. She was like, I seduced him. And I was like, fuck, yeah. you had to? Yeah. Like, you had to? 
I don't think you did. Oh, man. I don't think you did. My my divorce would have been fine a long time ago if we brought you in. Oh, man. That's fucking weird. Don't do that. Oh, man. Wow, you must be one of the writers on bad. this fucking show, you weirdo. <laughs> she was bad. <laughs> yeah, she was. And then, That's uh, what I'm saying. And then the other one I got, uh, and that I think we both agreed on was Ghislaine. And I think Ghislaine. that's that's light work. <sighs> that was quick. That was probably the quickest one because yeah. at first you're like, um, yeah, I like him. Uh, but that one was like, okay, she the light skin. She 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 the uh the princess Hibana of this show of Jobless Reincarnation, just in terms of light skin. Yeah, um, yeah. Just you don't just, see very many light skin, like prominent characters in anime. Yeah, when you when Those you get were, when you get further on Bleach and you get to meet Yoroichi. Oh, okay, that's why you right see. There. And Yoroichi is also the Demon Slayer dude. Um, yeah, not yeah, not Bleach, <laughs> uh, yeah. not Bleach at all. But Bleach, but, it's a it's a baddie. Oh yeah, yeah. She's she's got that light skin. She got that light skin mixed girl feel. Which I fucks with, uh, right. but who's your last one? Right, my last one was uh the whore, um, uh, Elena Elise, Elena Elena Elise, Elena Elena Elise. Yeah, Elena um, Elise. Elena Elise. She was a baddie. It was a turn off that she was a whore. <laughs> I mean, I I get that, so, but you can't deny the fact that she is a well sculpted character. I saw her and I was like, oh, this girl's a baddie. And then she started talking right. about like dudes left and right. And uh-huh. it just like, there's something about it being that open to me that's uh-huh. so unattractive. <laughs> it's and so she was unattractive. wildly open. <laughs> like she's like, she's like, yo, I want them to fucking come I, at me. There was like I was six. Like, yeah, that one there. scene, there's six dudes and she was they're all fucking dicks out. She got two in her, she got two in her hands. Dude, I saw that and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is fucking gross. I was like, I can't. This is too much. I was like, you're not cute. This is nasty. You're getting fucking <laughs> ran through you with your old beat up cooter. Like fucking, she's bad, man. She's like bad. your beat up cooter uh, is so nasty looking. I know the, it. The second time it happens, she like walks in on a castle. She's like, dude, can you stop having sex out in the open, please? Like, you, do that in a room somewhere, Roxy. was like, dude, come on. She talked about so much. Like, I for sure know Elena Lisa. I know, I know her pussy stink. And it's that and it's that bad stink that like I shower all day, but for some reason I have a stitch around me. Because Shit. it just she just get ran. She doing through. she doing the whole village a service. Yeah, because she's servicing the whole village. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucking gross, man. My point exactly. Yeah, I can't. Um, I can't do it, man. Funny, funny ass character. I can't. I, I can't do it. She was like, no, you don't. As a, and that's <laughs> the I like thing. it when people watch. Yeah, fucking <laughs> gross. Um, I the the crazy thing is, is like if you take all that hoariness out of it, I actually enjoy her character. Really? Like she's goofy as shit. Hmm. And she's like, always trying. She's like, yeah, let's go check over here. And I'm going to go talk to you, dude. Like, what it is, I always got new information. And I'm trying to help you out. But she's, she's getting, also sleeping with everybody. She's getting fucking ran through, man. She's not sleeping with people. She's getting fucking ran through. Sleeping with man. people is like, I'm fucking a dude every night. She's <laughs> hey, getting ran through by like eight beasts. Yep. Night. And she's like, come in me. Like, that's what she's like saying <laughs> that Give in the me show. A baby! Give me a baby. Gross, dude. Wild. Yeah, Have it's fucking nasty. That? Another anime? No, because they're all <laughs> fucking not weird and creepy no. like that. And I don't want to. I'm good without <laughs> it. I think I can go the rest of my life without that shit. Right. Yeah. There's a there's a place for that. It's called porn. Yeah, with real people. <laughs> We're gonna fucking see some nerds. jobless reincarnations at co- conventions, huh? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> well, we're gonna. Oh, for sure we are. Uh-huh. For sure we are, but I fucking hope not, dude. Please don't. Right. Please don't. Right. But so that that was was that all of the baddies? That's all the baddies. So okay. what do you got for uh future predictions? What's your future prediction? Future predictions, the main one that I <coughs> would say is that that green haired girl S- Sylvia. Sylvia. Um, Sylphet. Sylphet. Sylphie. 
um she is ruiger's daughter or or relative in some way okay the demon dude uh, with they're the spear. related right so the dude with the spear okay. who accompanied them is now bald is somehow related to that little girl so you think like somehow either him she or one there. of his relatives was right. banging an elf and... Yeah, like maybe he banged her and then she had to flee because they're not the, the elf, same right? Race. Not not the right. six year old girl. With right. this show, you got to be specific, right? Um, and they got separated, and obviously he's a super, so he was what whatever, and she didn't have the diamonds, so she's not as feared, um, even though she has the green hair, right? Uh, so I I I think they're somehow gonna connect them two together, um. I think they shut the window on that pretty early on, which, oh. which is why I don't think it, because I think, you know, sometimes they'll do that where they shut things down super early in the show and never mm-hmm. talk about it again, just to bring it up later. Well, like, oh shit, that down? was the case. Cause, uh, Roxy told her to be afraid of someone with like green hair like that. And remember when she was well, getting green the hair rocks, and a diamond. right. But when she was getting the rocks thrown at her. They thought she was one of the superb tribe. They didn't say she was superb. Yeah, they, they, that's what they were saying. They were saying you're a demon and you were one of the demons that they sided with us. Yeah, and oh, she was okay. like, no, I'm just an elf. Like, I'm just an elf. That's what she was telling Rudy. She's like, oh, I'm just an elf. Like, I, they kept calling me this race. And that's what he was like, oh, yeah, I heard the race had the green hair and the fucking, the fucking oh, shit. Okay. okay. Um, so I think they shut the door on that pretty hard. They could yeah, bring it up the, later. He's half, she's a half breed. Maybe. That's what my point was, was that the, the, the person he slept with wasn't of his race. It was of a different race. Maybe. Or just relative in some sort of way similar to that. Yeah, maybe. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's the whole point of the futures. That's the whole you point. You don't have to. I don't I want to. to. You know, don't you make don't me double to. down. It's never going to fucking happen. I, it I never will. <laughs> like, how do you know that? I know. <laughs> I just know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think, so you know how the uh, Roxy had the had the demon emperor chick with the beer belly and no clothes? Because we gotta have another five-year-old marching around with no fucking clothes on. Um, right. She had her search for the mom. She's like, yeah, she's alive. Right. Um, so I think they're gonna find the mom. And I think the mom's gonna be happy. She's not gonna be like held or anything like that. And I think she's going to be purposely staying away because she's happier now. Right. So you think she hated her old life or just likes her new life better? So I think I think it's a combination, right? Like I I think at the beginning she started hit like she was like, "Oh, I want to get back to my family." And then I don't even think it was necessarily that she hated it. I think what happened was her life started becoming so good when she got away from it. She was like, I, I'd rather have this life. Like, this is the life I want. I don't want to go back to that old life because my life here is fucking dope. My husband's not fucking every female that he meets. I don't have, I didn't get cheated on with the fucking sexy ass maid who he should have left me for a long time ago. Like, uh-huh. none of that happened. Like, I think she's just out there living her fucking best life. I think I think that's what's going on. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen only because it is. Um she I don't think she had enough disdain for that. Like she's she's that's like fair. one of those she's one of those like Nezuko moms where it's like you know Nezuko's mom, even if homeboy cheated on her, she was so loyal that she just wouldn't she would get over it. You got all that from the thirty fair. seconds Nezuko's mom was on screen yep and the 30 seconds nezuko's dad was on screen oh yeah you just got that she was so loyal in that 30 seconds that she would never do that yeah anybody who wears uh a kitchen kerchief yeah over her head and then also the like maid styled um oh yeah thing yeah you're not going anywhere you're very Mm. loyal yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how that works. You fucking that's hit exactly that nail. 100%. You hit that nail right on the head. You don't put those things on unless you're very loyal. <laughs> Stupid. That's uh, one of the prereqs. 
You gotta right. fill out an application. They gotta vet you. And then they just like they give you orange scrubs for jails. <laughs> that for loyalty as oh, a yeah. Just as a reward. Like here's your reward. Yeah. Right. Up your chiff. Um and a now... fucking maid dress. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we talked about what our future wants are or beliefs are. Or no, I'm sorry. Our beliefs are what do we hope will happen in the future? And for me, I hope there's more fucking fights. Yeah. There's got to um, be more fights. They have to, right? It's a fucking anime. If if you're gonna yeah, if you're I get slower shit, hey shit. I get it. You just have to do a little more, man. You have to. There was yeah. not enough. Yeah, um, I think I think I'll ride with you on that one because if, if it if it goes at the same pace, real quick, if it goes at the same pace, I will not watch season three. Oh yeah, no, not a chance. It, if it goes at the exact same pace and has the exact same like elements in terms yep. of perviness, yep, and shit like that, I'm just gonna be like, dude, I can't. Yeah, I'm already teetering on season two. Like I watched, I watched the first episode today since it just came out, and I was like, "This is fine." Um, I'll obviously watch the season, see where it goes. But I almost okay. stopped midway through season one just because it got so fucking weird. Um, yeah. and not enough action it to balance it out. And right. So I got through season one. I was like, "Okay, maybe season two won't be so bad." Now that homegirl left him. And he right. got his nut off. Maybe he'll calm down right. a little bit. Well, and they didn't explain a lot. Even with Rudy, where he, that bit, that crazy pink hair bitch scratched his eye. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he changed his eye. That was a big moment. And they didn't even explain how the fuck that happened. They kind of did. The bitch could just walk around changing people's eyeballs? Yeah, they actually did address that one. How? Um... Yeah, so he tells he tells uh, Ruiger that he fucking met the demon emperor, and that's how he got the eye. He gave her food, and she gave him that eye. And he was like, "Oh, the demon emperor." Yeah, there's been a few warriors in history who've gotten different eyes from her, oh. and that's what she does. She just gives people fucking different eyes. Oh, okay. And that's that was that. like right before he started training her. Okay. Or right before he started training Rudy. Okay. With how to I use the that. eye. Yeah. Right. But that was a sick en- enhancement. Yeah, it was fucking dope. It was fucking right. dope. I thought that was actually one of the coolest parts of the show. I was like, all right, well, that's going to help him fight. And then they're like, yeah, let's never have him use a sword again after this. And yeah. also. And get his just... fucking heart ripped out of his chest. Yeah. After the semen got ripped out of his dick. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah. So that was a hope, right? In terms yep. of them fighting more. Um, it, do you have a hope where you're like, no, Dude, I hope this happens. No, um, I just like, I hope they explain why he got chosen to be reincarnated. Because that's still, yeah. I don't fucking get it. Like this dude was a fucking nobody. He did nothing for anybody, and he's still a fucking scumbag. Like, despite what he's doing, they're like, yeah, he's making the best of his new life. No, he's not. He's still a fucking piece of shit. He's still a scumbag. He's still fucking his cousin. Yeah, he's still doing weird shit in a new world. Like, he's doing more, but he's not, like, a better... Like, I don't I don't he's understand better, why. He's better, but he's not, like... He's not a great hero. Yeah, he's not a great guy. He's still a fucking scumbag. Um, right. So I'm really hoping they explain why he was the one who got reincarnated. Like, I would even settle... Or if they were like, hey, he got reincarnated because he was just the only person available at the time we needed it. Yeah. Like, he like died at he the perfect died time. and then, yeah. Because even his death was fucking weird. He got hit by a fucking truck. Yeah, but which... he, like, walked. Like, do you remember? Like, he got kicked out after masturbating, and then he just walked in front of a truck. I think he went to go save somebody. I think he oh. was like, I think he went and pushed like a kid out like... the way or something. Oh, okay. Or he was on his way to go save somebody. I think that something okay. like that happened. Um, well, I don't think it was like, so like Yeah, but it was That's probably what they're going to say. I fucking hope not. They're probably going to say it. Yeah. But anything you want to say before we land this plane? Yes. Um, Episode four. Man, we made it. Um, Don't forget to like subscribe 
um, if you enjoy the content. And again, we're going to try and get out in the community that we have out in Arizona, but we want to reach out. We want to talk with more people. Right. Uh, we want to socialize about this shit a lot more because that's what makes anime fun. Yeah. Um, to be getting, able to talk about it. Getting everybody's different perspectives on shit. Right. Like, I will say. different perspectives you can have on one character yeah like you could be someone who doesn't think this is creepy and then i'll call the cops on you and have you arrested for being a pedo (laughs) like there's so many different different ways this can go right we would obviously love to also have cosplayers again pull up um so definitely hit us up if you're a cosplayer male or female we don't care um and then also uh damn whenever Um, you're ready take your time fuck it's all right. It was just on my head. Um, kind of. Fuck, man. Did you have anything to say while I'm thinking? I honestly didn't have anything to say. You usually do the outros. I usually right. second that shit. I'm like, yeah, do that. Yeah. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And yeah. Go ahead and follow us on TikTok. We're trying to get shit going here. Uh, right. But other than that. You know? Yeah, um, I can't really think of it. I know I lost it, but comment down below. We we want comments. Yeah, man, we want to engage video as well. Uh, we want to talk about this shit. So um, that would that would be it. All right, guys. Until we see you again, we'll catch you next week. Yeah.